The Prime Minister has slammed Pauline Hanson's views on immunisation as a public health risk and also questioned her admiration for Russian President Vladimir Putin. Malcolm Turnbull is walking a delicate tightrope. He needs One Nation support to pass crucial legislation in the Senate but has no choice to call Senator Hanson out on some of her outlandish views. Leah Craven has more from Canberra. The coalition's feeling the heat in the sunshine state. So Malcolm Turnbull spent a day in regional Queensland as votes threatened to bleed to Pauline Hanson's One Nation. Prime Minister, great to have you here in Maranoa. In Canberra, the minor party is the government's most reliable voting partner and will be an ally in the penalty rate debate, supporting the Fair Work Commission's decision to slash Sunday rates. In principle... Yes, I do. But the friendship only goes so far. When the One Nation leader questioned the effectiveness of the government's vaccination policy, a prime ministerial slapdown. If parents choose not to vaccinate their children, they are putting their children's health at risk and every other person's children's health at risk too. Pauline Hansen's admiration for Russian President Vladimir Putin also questioned. You know, I listened to a speech that he gave in Parliament and even the people here in Australia were saying, I wish we had a leader like that here. Vladimir Putin's Russia is subject to international sanctions uh, to which Australia is a party because of his conduct in uh, shooting down uh, the MH17 airliner in which 38 Australians were killed. While Malcolm Turnbull may be in campaign mode in Western Queensland, he's staying away from Western Australia in the lead-up to the state election. The PM's last visit dubbed a disaster, and state Liberals want to keep their distance. Leah Craven, 10 Eyewitness News.